This video is brought to you by NordVPN. Get 75% off via the link below. Like the first game in the series, Banjo-Tooie saw a full translated release for the Japanese market and the game saw a fair amount of success. Unlike over in the west where the first game is called Banjo-Kazooie and the sequel Banjo-Tooie, both games in Japan are known as Banjo and Kazooie's Great Adventure, with the second game having the number 2 added to the end of its title. That's not all though, there was actually a pretty big change made to the ending cutscene in the Japanese version of the game. The final boss of the game is a wicked witch called Gruntilda and and upon defeating her, the ending scene shows the cast of characters kicking her detached head around like a ball. Although due to being a witch and the game's light-hearted, child-friendly nature, the witch is still alive and everything and during the final scene she boldly proclaims just you wait until Banjo free, hinting at a possible return in a sequel. The Japanese version however changes this in a pretty unusual way. You see in the Japanese version of the game, it is no longer the witch's head being kicked around but instead a sack that resembles her clothing. Whilst there's no official comments for this change, Sensor Gaming speculates that it was made due to a then recent controversy in Japan over a series of murders involving beheadings. This change is also pretty reminiscent of an alteration made to another game from around this time, the Japanese version of Crash Bandicoot 2. In the game, one of Crash's death animations sees him being squished by a large pillar, leading to being left with just his head and shoes waddling around. Due to the aforementioned controversy over in Japan though, this animation was changed for the Japanese Japanese version so that Crash is completely flat instead, rather than being able to see his head sticking out. One curious aspect to the Banjo-Tooie change is that in the original versions of the game, the witch's eyeball would comically pop out of her head like so. However, in the Japanese version, the eyeball still pops out even with it being changed to a sack. What do you think about these changes made over in Japan, and do you know of any other games with similar alterations in the country? As always, please let us know your thoughts in the comments below and consider subscribing to see more videos on how media is changed around the world. Until next time, thank you for watching.